Neither the prosecution nor defense dispute that Javier Ambler lost consciousness while Williamson County deputies were trying to handcuff him. But today's opening statements painted very different pictures of how a traffic stop escalated to a high-speed chase and then Ambler's death. You will hear how he pleaded with them five to seven times. He said, I can't breathe, while they chose to tase him repeatedly force him, seize him, and force him down on the ground, put a foot on his back, put a knee on the back of his neck and head, and continue to forcibly restrain him despite his pleas for help. Prosecutor Holly Taylor told the jury during opening statements that Ambler weighed 400 pounds. He also suffered from congestive heart failure, hypertension, and sleep apnea. That despite his pre-existing conditions and his toxicology, those were not the cause of Javier's death. The but-for cause of Javier's death was the actions that these defendants chose to make that night in repeatedly tasing him and forcibly restraining him. Former Williamson County deputies Zachary Camden and James Johnson were being filmed that night for the reality TV show Live PD. The prosecutor said their conduct was unnecessary, unreasonable, and unjustified. Javier's tragic death could have been avoided if these two defendants had acted reasonably and prudently instead of playing to the Live PD cameras. Defense attorney Kevin Irvin countered that Ambler never would have gotten the attention of deputies if he had dimmed his headlights. Then he sped off when deputies tried to make a traffic stop. All Mr. Ambler had to do was pull over, just like all of you said that you would do if an officer was attempting to pull you over. Mr. Ambler did it. He fought it. For 22 minutes and 31 seconds, he floored it. The chase that started in Round Rock and ended in Austin reached speeds of over 100 miles per hour. Blowing right through intersections, not letting up, flooring it through red lights. The two deputies tased Ambler several times during the arrest, but the defense says his medical conditions are what killed him. We think you'll find at the end these officers act appropriately, not recklessly, and that Mr. Ambler died on his own because of his own decisions. Key witnesses in the trial will be medical experts and live PD employees who were filming the arrest five years ago. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.